Uh, greetings, everyone. Uh, I'm again Hadi Muhammad Zadev. I'm very happy to be here with you. Uh, I'm a researcher member and uh, project coordinator at IMM Design Studio. Uh, and uh, I actually joined this laboratory since 2012. And since, since then, we are developing this particular methodology, uh, IMM. And uh, we had uh, many case studies in different contexts. Uh, we had case studies in Middle East, Tehran, my home city, Barcelona. Uh, uh, currently, we are working with University of Belgrade. And we have a case study in New Belgrade, residential area. Uh, and last year, we worked on this particular project. Uh, it, it was a collaboration with University of Rio, uh, and the project that I'm today I'm presenting to you is one of our latest case studies in Puerto Maravilla uh, in Rio de Janeiro. But first, let us start with what IMM is. Uh, Professor Fabrizio Zani uh, said me some, some times uh, and introduced this. Uh, um, IMM is acronym of Integrated Modification Methodology. Uh, it's a multidisciplinary uh, design laboratory based at ABC Department of Polytechnical in Milano. And our main concentration is to develop a certain methodology to transform the city context and in general built environment into a more sustainable and energy e efficient morphology. Uh, as Professor Zani mentioned, our main elements of approach is to be holistic, multi-layer, and multi-scale. Uh, it all begins with the fact that uh, if you measure the energy consumption of every single building uh, in a neighborhood or in a city, you probably uh, achieve a different measurement from the uh, amount that amount of energy that the city can some, uh, consume, uh, and there's a big gap between them. So uh, we approach towards city as a complex adaptive system. I'm going to tell you what it is. Uh, in general, approaching towards sustainability, you need to deal with design, uh, designing the systems. You need to deal with systems. You need to know systems better. Uh, in her book, Thinking in Systems, Donella Meadows write, writes that a system isn't just any old collection of things. A system is an interconnected set of elements that is coherently organized in a way that achieves something. In other words, a system is more than its sum of parts. Uh, almost everything that we are dealing with is system, your watch, your car, your body. Uh, almost everything that we are dealing is a system, and all systems, according to Meadows, uh, consist of elements, connections, function, and a boundary. Well, elements are basically the components of the system. Your body is consists of your brain, your heart, your liver, your lung, etc. There are certain connections between these elements, and uh, understanding the elements are often more easier to understanding the connections. You might easily understand what your lung is, your, what your heart is, but to understand the certain relationship between them is a little bit more complicated. All system has a particular function, and this function is uh, related to the goal that the system is set for. In general, connections and functions uh, identify the particularity, particularity of a system, and all system as a boundary. Uh, almost every system is a subsystem of another larger system, is a part of another system. A lift is a system itself, but it's a part and a subsystem of another larger system, which is a tree. A tree itself is a part of another larger system, which could be jungle or garden. So the boundary is the limitation that you put in order to study within that system. In other words, you 
you, you decide to uh, study the system as a tree and not a jungle. The environment is also a system, and in particular, is a complex adaptive system. In a complex adaptive system, a mere change or a local modification in a single element produce a chain reaction uh, which leads to change, in, change the system entirely. Uh, it is how when you introduce some um, certain function with uh, certain density in some neighborhood, you actually modify the traffic load a few blocks further. So just like movement of species of fish in a moment of time, uh, the behavior of built environment is complex and is always in a fickle state. In other words, cities are changing every time. So, uh, dealing with such systems, complex adaptive systems, uh, you, you require to build a model, an accurate model. And according to Holling, this model is needed to be simple, but not, simple, but not simpler and it's required to understand the relationship between the parts and elements. We did the same. We tried in IEM and Design Lab to build a model out of the built environment. And for doing so, we uh, dismantled the built environment into four main elements, four layers. We call, we call them horizontal layers. And they are void, volume, void, transportation, and functions. We also study the relationship between one by one relationship that these layers make with each other. Uh, uh, I'm going to uh, explain them explicitly when I'm going to the project, but their name are proxi uh, proximity, porosity, effectiveness, uh, interface, diversity, accessibility. We call them horizontal uh, categories, key categories. Uh, IMM follows a certain sequence of phasing. In the first phase, the actual situation of, a build, of the built environment is analyzed and evaluated by means of a certain evaluation and uh, analyzing tool. In the second phase, the catalyst of transformation is to be ident identified. The catalyst is the malfunctioning subsystem or malfunctioning relationship, horizontal relationship between the uh, elements and catalyst is to be used as the trigger of the new transformation uh, the threshold of the new transformation uh, in the third phase by modifying the catalyst locally the chain reaction starts and leads to new transformation of the system and in the fourth phase in the beginning of the fourth phase we evaluate we evaluate the uh, transformed system by means of same evaluation tools that have been used for evaluating the uh, actual situation. And also, in the last phase, uh, local optimization and retrofitting is being carried out. So let's go to the project. Uh, it's a research project, an academic project. Uh, we study the Port de Maravilla, which is a port area located in Rio de Janeiro. <laughs> Uh, regardless of uh, its role as a, as a mm, historic harbor and also its close vicinity to the downtown of Rio, now it's argued that uh, it does not integrate with its context properly. Uh, recently, a new project funded by uh, Donald Trump uh, is introduced there, uh, which is partially rejected by the community. but some of the uh, port area is still under construction of this project. But our mission was to uh, look at this area and study this area from another <laughs> point of view, from point of view of IMM. Well, uh, let's start with the scales. Uh, after all, sustainability is about integration and how a local change, a local modification uh, can produce global influences. So, in general, in IMM, we uh, set different scales. Local scale, intermediate scale, and global scale. Our local scale was the port area. Our intermediate scale covers a rather larger uh, area, which uh, inclined to the 
downtown of Rio. And our global scale almost covers all Rio. Well, you can see in this image a 3D vision of the uh, local and intermediate scale. And you can see uh, its relationship with uh, the sea line and also its uh, dynamic landscape and topography. Uh, we try to uh, choose our intermediate scale to have proper connections in order to study the other parts of Rio, especially the downtown, and also uh, to the western part, which is the geographical heart of Rio de Janeiro. Uh, and here in these couple of slides, you can see our boundaries of the scale. This is the boundaries that we set for the uh, intermediate scale. We try to choose this boundary according to morphologic, morphological generator elements. And also, we try to have this uh, scaling to act like like a plugin, which connects the Rio to the to connects the uh, site to the southern part and the western part, which I explained that is the geographical heart of Rio. And this is our local scale. Our local scale consists of three neighborhoods: Santo Cristo, Gamboa, and Saude, if I'm pronouncing well. So let's go to the phasing of IMF. In the first phase, investigation and analysis, we start with horizontal investigation. Horizontal investigation is simply dismantling the system into its parts. Then we go to vertical investigation, which is the studying of the connection between the elements. And in actual performance, we evaluate the performance of the actual situation. 